So this is a quick video about the latest Elementor base release, the Elementor Beta Developers Edition plugin. You may or may not be aware of this new plugin, and even if you are aware, you may not know the full purpose of what it's intended for. Now, ideally, with this plugin, the feedback that you'd give is taken on board by the developers, and then a few weeks later, when those reported bugs have been squashed, the final release is, you know, well, released. So this is then usually followed up pretty quickly by at least one minor update that provides for additional fixes when more generalized feedback from the larger user base comes in and more bugs are invariably found. The new Elementor Beta Developers Edition plugin is basically moving the public beta testing phase back a few steps and making some earlier in-development features available via the new plugin. So the reasoning behind this is that Elementor's developers get more widespread feedback earlier on to get out and test those early ideas and then exclude or include them accordingly based upon feedback and experience. So that's basically what this new plugin is for. Now, if you're invited to test this or you're thinking of installing the plugin, the link is in the description below, you do need to be aware that this is not for testing on a live site. This is only for testing on a development site, be it a local site or an online site or development domain. There will certainly be site breaking features included from time to time, and you do not want to be testing on a site that is mission critical. That is 100% asking for trouble, so please do not do that. Now, at the time of recording this video, the initial Elemental Beta plugin doesn't really offer much for us to see. There are a couple of features, but nothing that's going to set the world on fire. So if you're thinking of installing and getting to test out a bunch of really cool new features, you're likely to be pretty much disappointed. So I'd say the reasoning behind this is to test the waters and the take up of the new beta testing plugin before releasing anything too significant for early adopters and testers to get their teeth stuck into. Hopefully this will change in the near future or I personally think that the take up will be pretty minimal. The key thing to look out for is the new experiments tab under the Elemental settings panel. This is where you'll see the new features that are primarily experimental and may not actually make it into a final release. But you can at least get to mess around with them and see if they're of interest to you and then provide your own personal feedback. Now right now we only have access to three experimental features. The optimized DOM output, accessibility improvements, and a landing page option. I'm guessing that the landing page feature, as minimal as it is right now, that it'll be used to focus on making Elemental a more viable option for building landing pages in the future. Now the other two experimental features are more under the hood features. If you'd like to see all the features, experiments, and fixes, you can check out the GitHub, which is listed in the description below. That's going to give you some more insight into what you can see in this first release, and obviously moving forward you'll see what's available in future releases as they are released. Now by default these features are set to default but you can easily choose to activate or deactivate any of these on a feature by feature basis so that should help make troubleshooting considerably easier if you come across a problem. There is also a compatibility testing feature to ensure your site and server are compatible with Elemental but to date I've not actually spotted that option during my initial testing so if you do come across it let me know in the comment section. Now, apart from these, there really isn't a lot else to get excited about right now. But I'd like to know, what are your thoughts on this new beta testing plugin? Will you be using it or have you already installed it and started playing around? What's your experience been so far? Let me know again in the comments. Now, there's a certain level of resistance that I've noticed over on the Elemental Community Facebook group that the developers should either be doing this work in-house and not using the community at large as a testing group, while others feel there should be some compensation for those who are active in the development and testing phase. But again, I put the question over to you. What are your thoughts on these? Let me know in the comment section or over on the WP Tuts Facebook group. Now, let me know below what you think of the new Elemental Beta Developers Edition plugin and the concept behind it in the comment section, because I would love to know your opinions. As always, all of the applicable links are in the description below, and if you found this video useful or informative, please give that thumbs up button a click as it really does help the channel out. However, if you didn't find it useful, well, feel free to hit the thumbs down button twice, as that works pretty well too. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.